everybody, I'm PJ with Princess Craft RV. Today I'm gonna to show you around the 2023 Chase. Now this is part of the flyer line with Intec. It is the smallest one in the flyer line. It's 12 and a half feet total length. And if you get all the options, it still fits in your garage at six foot 11 inches, just barely. Now the weight on this is a little over a thousand pounds. If you add all the options, it can go as high as 1275, but still so lightweight and with a thousand pounds of carrying capacity, give or take, of course, depending on options. So versatile. And one of the things that you may know about Intec, they're the aluminum cage frame. We'll talk more about that when we go through the outside. Now, let me show you the inside. This is a minimalist camper. Not a whole lot of creature features here, but so versatile, so fun if you want to travel light and easy. Let's go inside and start there. You know, for being such a minimalist style camper, I am really impressed with how comfy this is. This is 45 inches to the roof here. It is 59 inches wide, and this mattress here is 78 inches long. Now the entire floor space is 89, so you've got a few inches there to work with. But these are really comfortable. Of course, if you're trying to sleep more than one person, you've got the entire space. But if there's just one of you, these are split in half, so you can always double them up and have more floor space on this side. Behind me is the basics that you need here when you're camping. You've got a shelf up here, uh, you know, of course that could be used for any type of storage or just setting gear up there. Two cubbies, the red lights are, I think are just nice and bright. Um, that is new for 2023. And I just think it, it just adds a, a nice touch. You do have the rubber band in the front to keep your gear inside. In the center, you'll see the Bluetooth stereo set up and of course it has all the connections the usb hdmi bluetooth all of the things speakers right here on both sides there is a cubby here i gotta give it a good tug because it's a magnetic catch so quite a bit of space in here for storage as well right behind me i'm gonna see if i can move out of the way here You'll see up on the side, there is a household 110 plug. So if you're at a campground and plugged in, you do have that 110 there, and then two USBs underneath this cover here. Net on the far side for a little more accessible storage. And that just makes for a nice place to put your gear and not too much clutter. Now, the light switches are really easy to get to. Right here, you've got the main lights, the accent lights on those little cubbies, and then the porch light on the outside. There is a power fan in the top of this one. That is there on all standard models. There is a, a handheld right here that is gonna turn it on and off. I realize it's pretty easy to reach, but because that's a standard with Intec, then they have that in this model as well. Now, if you have the optional air conditioner with the heat strip, then that will take the place of the fan that's in the ceiling. Windows on both sides so you can get nice ventilation. It's just a really nice space in here. Um, I really like having the carpeted walls. Now I say carpet, this is actually a nylon covering. It helps to attract the moisture. If you're in a high humidity area, then all of that moisture is gonna collect inside a small space like this. So that's gonna collect that moisture so it's not dripping down on you. It's also super easy to clean. I have done it myself before. I have exploded a drink in here. I had Coke all over the walls and it just wipes off with water or maybe some mild dish soap. Really easy to keep clean. On the floor of this, underneath this mattress, let me see if I can show you a little bit better. Remember I told you you can stack these up, get them out of your way. This is infinity flooring. Again, this is something that some people are a little worried about because they feel like it might get dirty or be hard to clean. Trust me, this is flooring that's used in the high-end marine market. 
So it cleans very easily. It's used to the moisture, it's used to the dirt. It, things don't get stuck in the cracks. You can clean it really easily just with a damp rag. All right, I'm gonna change places and I'm gonna scoot down and talk about the very end of the trailer where the double doors are. Now, right at the back, there is another 110 plug and another switch for the main lights and the loading lights. Those are lights right up here. You can see them shining in my eyes. And that just is very accessible depending on which entrance you're using. It does have a little bit of a, a drop here where the doors are, of course, to frame out the doors. So you're gonna have 40 inches of height here. I'm five foot tall, as many of you know, so it is right at that height for me. The double doors, I'll have to tell you, I was a little concerned when this model first came out with these double doors, but I really like them now because they open up everything completely. By having double doors and not one big cargo door, then they're not very long, they don't get in the way, they're easy to work around, nets on both for storage. Just a, a really nice minimal trailer if you wanna go off grid, or just simply tow something light and easy and versatile. This space could be used for absolutely anything. Hauling gear, um, just, I mean, I don't need to list them. Anything you wanna put in here. Let's take a look on the outside because that's really where the magic happens on this trailer that can turn it into whatever adventure you're looking for. Now, as I close these doors, you notice there's a solid handle on the inside, not a wimpy handle that's going to break as you use these doors over and over. But the gas props hold them open, give them a real solid feel as you close both of them. I just think that's a real high-end feature for such a lightweight trailer. Probably has to do with the way they can make it so structurally sound because this is a full aluminum frame. Let's talk about that in just a minute. Intech builds all their products with a complete aluminum frame. Now you've heard aluminum frame before when you're looking at trailers because you can frame up a wall and attach it to a steel chassis. Under this trailer, you will find a fully welded aluminum chassis. Now the walls are welded onto it as well, and then the framing for the roof. So it is what they call an aluminum cage frame. That gives it a ton of strength. And because aluminum is only one third the weight of steel, it makes it lighter. One of the great things about everything Intech builds is that aluminum cage frame. Now the outside is all 040 aluminum. Down below on this model, there is a receiver hitch. It is two inch and it holds 175 pounds. So I'm thinking a bike rack, even e-bikes at 175 pounds, maybe mountain bikes, maybe a tray with gen, cooler, whatever you need can be added back here. I wanna point out the design here. This is all the black diamond plate framing the back door, but I really like the overhang here. That water in the rain is not gonna be coming down running over these doors and you know catching in all of those grooves is going to have a nice flow over there i just think it's a great design an added touch that's going to make it more functional let's keep going this direction because this doesn't have a lot of options on it there is no water or sewer dump right here but good time to talk about these off-road tires that is an upgrade on this trailer as well as the roof rack the roof rack, the air conditioner, off-road tires, the awning we'll see on the other side are some of the most common options you'll see on a chase. You can get the 270 degree awning. Now that's gonna cover two sides of the trailer and you can also get an add -a room tent on the back. All of those are great features. This trailer is gonna have everything on it except the air conditioning and of course the 270 degree awning in the add -a tent. Uh, these tires are going to give you about another two inch lift, but they do have that off-road, off-grid uh, capability to them. They do mount the spare right here on the side. And in front of that is the 30 amp connection right here. Next to it, a plug for the portable solar. If you wanted to add solar to this to keep the battery charged, it is already ready for you. That diamond plate runs along the bottom half. That's a great rock guard, particularly because this trailer is designed to go off the highway. 
Uh, right up front. This molded box on the front, nice for extra gear, very solid. It does have the battery in it. That can always be upgraded, but most dealers are gonna put a wet cell battery in it. Uh, a lot of my uh, off-road people really like the lithium because it charges fast. Uh, so it is an option right here in the front. You do have a battery disconnect, and of course the rest is open storage. This is a good place to take a look at the framing. All of the Intech products are gonna have a triple tube tongue with a connection on the front for your vehicle. And this is a swivel tongue jack. So you pull the pin, swivel it back out of the way. Very easy to get tons of clearance with this if you're going maybe on some rough terrain. You do have about 11 inches, 11 and a half inches of clearance on this trailer when you have the off-grid tires. So it includes that two inch lift. Now on this side, it's a great time to talk about colors. You can have a charcoal gray, a silver. There's also white, black, and red. So a lot of choices up here. And new graphics for 2023, I think it adds some pop, matches the red light on the inside, right? The diamond plate continues all the way across. Uh, right here, it, they have a different kind of clip for holding their door open. And let me show you how that works. Just pull this open, drops right in, and then you push it down into place. And to unlatch it, just give it a push and lift it up, and you're good to go. It's just a little different, but they try to make things that are durable. You don't want a plastic catch there that isn't gonna work all the time. They also have the diamond plate step and the fender. Great for stepping up here. Yes, you can stand on it to reach what's on your rack. Intech does make their own roof racks. And the reason I point that out is because they try to keep all of their production in-house if possible. It is really great to visit their factory if you ever get the opportunity to see the craftsmanship that goes into these trailers. Now this uh, rack up here, it could hold a rooftop tent, no problem. 250 pounds per crossbar. So a lot of weight storage up there. If you have a rooftop tent, you could also use the rear tent. Remember, got a great tent on the back. This little hook you see on the back of the fender is part of that attachment piece. But uh, you could sleep a few people in the rear tent, use a rooftop tent, and really make this a great space for a lot of people to use as a base camp. This is the standard side awning. There is another option if you want the 270 degree awning. Uh, normally that swings around and covers the back door as well. Really recommend those. We see them a lot on the adventure campers. So lots of features on this camper that maybe you don't readily see, but if you wanna get off the highway, get out there, have some fun, this is gonna get you there. Now, the price on this is gonna be somewhere around 15,000. Now it can go up or down depending on features or options that are on it. And remember, I always tell you that features and options can change. This is a 2023 model, and depending on what they do during the year, be sure to check all the details because something might be different on the one you're looking at. I'm PJ with Princess Craft RV. I am so glad I got to share the chase with you. If you have any questions, please let us know. We're always happy to help you, and I'll see you next time.